In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing quadratic inequalities. To graph a quadratic inequality, the first thing that we want to do is graph the boundary line, which is going to be a parabola. So we're going to start by graphing the equation y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay, And to graph that, remember, first thing we want to do is pick out and find our axis of symmetry. Remember, to do that, we can use the following. x equals negative b over 2a. And then we can find the vertex by putting in that x value. And that will give us our vertex. And then also remember that this right over here is my y-intercept. So I can use those things to graph my boundary line. So let's start there. For this one we have um, our b is negative 2, so I'm going to have x equals negative negative 2 all over 2 times a, and my a here is the coefficient of the x squared term, which is just 1. So simplify, negative negative 2 is just 2, and 2 times 1 is 2, so 2 over 2 is 1. So that means my axis of symmetry is 1. Then if I want the vertex, look, I can take that 1 and put it back into my equation to figure out what the corresponding y value is going to be. So feed in that 1, so we have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. 1 squared, of course, is 1 minus 2 plus 3. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So my vertex is 1, 2. Okay? And then I can pick out my y-intercept, which will give me another point. So my y-intercept is the c part. Remember, I'm picking it out of standard form there. So that would be 3. So let's use those things to graph. So first I want my vertex, 1, 2. So I go over 1, up 2. Right there's my vertex. And then my y-intercept is up at 3. So on the y-axis, right up there at 3. Now, remember, I can use the axis of symmetry to get me a third point that I can use to draw my parabola. So if I go, here's my axis of symmetry coming up and down right here and it's one unit to the left of that so if I go one unit to the right remembering that parabolas are symmetric there's my other point okay now before I draw my boundary line I wanna look back and see what type of a line should it be and this right here tells me it's just less than so that means it's gonna be a dashed line if it was less than or equal to it would be a solid line and you'll want to do that just double check before you draw your line because otherwise sometimes you can have some dull moments after you draw a solid line and then you have to erase holes in it to make it uh, a dashed line so do that double check okay then I need to figure out where to shade for an inequality I have to shade so pick a point that's not on the boundary zero zero is often a good one in this case, it's definitely not on the boundary. It would be outside the parabola. So let's fill that in and see what happens. So I'm going to take 0, 0 and fill it into my original inequality. So it's going to be 0 is less than 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 3. So that's just all 0. And we have 0 is less than 3. That is true. So that means I'm going to shade the area that includes that point, which is right there. So I'm going to shade outside the parabola, like so. Okay? So there's one example of graphing a quadratic inequality. Let's look at another one quick. Okay, for this one, we're going to start out exactly the same way, remembering that we can get our axis of symmetry by finding negative b over 2a. So in this case, my b is 4, so x equals negative 4 over 2 times a. In this case, my a is negative 1, so we'll put that in there. Then we simplify, negative 4 over negative 2 would be positive 2. So we get x equals 2 for my axis of symmetry. Okay. 
then I'm going to put that 2 in so that I can get my Y coordinate of my vertex. So here we go, filling it in. We have, oopsie, let me fix that there. Okay, I'm going to fill in the 2. We have negative, and this is one thing that you want to be really careful with. Remember that that negative is not being squared. Okay, that's sitting out front there, and in terms of the order of operations, remember that we would have to take care of that squared first, and then we multiply by that negative. So that's sitting out front. It'll be there after we do the squaring. Sometimes people lose that with that squared. So back to feeding in the 2, so plus 4 times 2, minus 5, so 2 squared is 4, make that negative, so negative 4, plus 4 times 2 is 8, minus 5, then negative 4 plus 8 would be positive 4, minus 5 would be negative 1, okay, so my vertex is at 2, negative 1. All right, then I can pick out my intercept, right there it is, remember that's the C, so my y-intercept is negative 5, almost lost the negative there, okay, negative 5. All right, so then I go ahead and graph and start with the vertex, so 2, negative 1, so over 2, down 1, there's my vertex, and then my y-intercept being negative 5, <coughs> that's on the y-axis here, we go down to negative 5, which will put me right there. Then, remember, I can use my axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry is x equals 2. So that's coming through right here. Okay, there's my vertex coming through. And notice, I'm 2 to the left with this one. So if I flip on the other side of the axis of symmetry, then I go right there. Okay, now I have my three points. But before I draw the line, quickly double check what kind of a line should it be in this case it's greater than or equal to so it's gonna be a solid line so here we go nice solid line like so okay then we have to figure out where to shade so again choose a point that's not on the boundary in this case the parabola zero zero is also good in this case so Let's go ahead and fill that into the original inequality. So 0 is greater than or equal to, we have negative 0 squared. I'll write it out, but we know that's going to be 0 plus 4 times 0, and then minus 5. Okay, That's all just 0, so 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Well, is that true? Yeah, 0 is greater than negative 5. I'd rather be at 0 than 5 in the hole. So I'm going to shade the area that contains that um, point, 0, 0. So that's right out here. And in we go, like so. Okay, so graphing quadratic inequalities, we start by graphing the parabola, which is our boundary. And remember to be sure that you know what type of line it should be, uh, whether it's solid or dashed. And then we choose a point that's not on the boundary, and then use that to uh, determine where we shade. And we always shade the place that works. Hope this video is helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.